Hello everybody, Mark Joshua here, live again. Jesus loves you, it's good to be live again. God has been doing great things. Uh, it's so amazing, we have Holy Spirit nights uh, at the journey. And uh, I think a week ago we had a Holy Spirit night and the glory of God was present, the manifest presence of God was, was manifested in our midst. And I could, we could really sense an open heaven and uh, we drank a lot of from his presence and to the point that we couldn't even stand anymore and just had to, we're just had this holy laughter and joy we felt this divine joy of the holy spirit it was amazing it was an amazing anointing but the lord is doing amazing things i even felt at the time that um um that the lord was speaking to me that it's going to be like uh, uh, even though it's winter in the natural it's it's spring in, in the in the supernatural that's what the lord told me and that that service at the journey afterwards i we even felt in my body that it's becoming spring and if you see the dutch weather now we have sunshine if you look here in the back we have a lot of sunshine now even in natural you can see, you can even feel that it's like spring and the bible says like in the in the end times the seasons are going to be mixed up uh, and it's really amazing that the, that the Holy Spirit showed me that it, in the supernatural, in, in, in the spiritual, it's spring. And uh, the new life is blossoming and the promises of, of God are blossoming for all of us. So that's what the Holy Spirit showed me last week. And now I'm here, I'm just contemplating about this, that uh, where is the Christianity that's um, in 2 Corinthians 12, Paul speaks of, through my weaknesses I am strong. And that through uh, uh, that the grace is sufficient for us, and that through our weakness, weaknesses, God is strong. And um, you know, when you when people underestimate you, it's um, it, it's a good thing because it's not about you; it's about Jesus. So if people underestimate you, it's 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 supposed to be like that because it's all about Jesus and what the Holy Spirit does through you. And we need all as Christians. We need to come to the point that we can say that it's no, no longer a we that live, but Christ that lives in us. So when people underestimate me, sometimes they say, "Wow, uh, are, did you set up that church? Did you set up the ministry? They think I'm too young, or they think I'm this or that, or my personality." But you know, I see a Christianity these days that is too much focused on personalities and the things in the natural and not on the spiritual anymore because if you think if you look at all the great men of God in the Bible and women God was not focused on their personality you know he was he was looking further and in the spiritual you can be a totally different person because it's what the Holy Spirit does through you I remember in my life that I was I was afraid of people I had a lot of fears and uh, anxieties and and uh, I was shy I I even had a point in my life that I didn't want to go to family parties because I, I felt too shy. And, that, and then that was in the natural. But I know that the sa Satan, the adversary, he was fighting this. He was fighting my purpose in God. And, and in God, I, I sense that I'm very bold, you know, in the kingdom of God. I'm bold. I, I receive this boldness of the Holy Spirit. So it's all the Spirit. And I love that Paul says that, that in his weaknesses... It's like a portal to God's power. So he can see, that's why he boasts in his weaknesses. You can read it in 2 Corinthians 12. That he boasts in his weaknesses because his weakness is a portal to God's power. That's what he says. He says that in, in, in the, uh, the Passion Translation, he says that um, when he is weak, he can sense the mighty power of Christ through him. So we need, I think we need to go back to this, not to be too much focused on personalities and who you are in the natural because if I'm too much focused in the natural I don't I don't think you would like will like me too much you know and I be truly believe that we should have the character of Christ that's the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our lives and that should be developed of course and we should all go to the point of having the character of Jesus and being formed into his image and um, but if people underestimate you, just think like, yeah, it's a good thing. Because it's not about me, it's about Jesus and what the Holy Spirit does tr through you. And I just want to encourage you with that. And I, I think we all should move back to that kind, that kind of Christianity. And um, that through our weaknesses, we are strong in Him. That we find our strength in Him. And that's, that keeps our focus from the natural realm to the kingdom realm. 
So I just wanted to encourage you with that. Look at this beautiful view behind me. This is the rear, rear water in Almira. Almira is a beautiful city. It's an innovative city and God has a great purpose for the city. I believe we're five who will be in the city here. And uh, yes, uh, God bless you all. It's spring in the, in the spiritual, even though it's winter in the natural. So the Lord is, has been saying this to me. I could even sense it in my, in my body. And now we even have sun here, spring sun. And the Lord is doing a great thing. I believe the Lord will soon return because the Bible says in the end times, the seasons will be all mixed up. And the Lord is doing great things. I'm going to share more testimonies later, more glory stories of what the Lord has been doing. And also a, a teaching about words of knowledge. So stay tuned. God bless you all. I love you. Jesus loves you. And don't worry if under, people underestimate you. Just, just focus on Jesus through you and what he is in you. Because your weakness can be a portal to God's strength. You know, in the kingdom, it's a different mindset. And uh, it's all through him. Through Christ who strengthens us. And it's no longer I, the we that live, but Christ that lives through us. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Jesus loves you. Love and shalom. And have a good day. Enjoy the weather. Bye-bye.